Hey, what's going on? You know, dog culture sure has been a lot of fun. But lately, I haven't been uh, doing movie reviews, so I think it's time I give Sticks a call and see what he's up to. Hey, Doc, what's up? Hey, not much. Just about ready to take out a movie. What are you up to? Uh, just getting ready for a hot date. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, it's been a while since we've had a review done. I don't know, I'm in the mood to watch some. Are you, what about you? The Exorcist? Exorcist! Welcome into another episode of Doc Culture. Uh, Doc, you're a little nervous about I'm what's going on tonight. I'm super nervous. Tell me what we're watching. The Exorcist. I've never seen this really. I know about it. I know of certain scenes that are huge in pop culture mm -hmm. today, but what I do know is it's from 1973 and it's two hours and two minutes long. Yeah, it's a little bit before our time, kids of the 80s, so we're going back to the 70s here. This was a scary movie in the 70s. I think it's a scary movie now. Like, this was... Exorcist came out at a time... I mean, there were scary movies being made. Jeez. What was that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, old Vincent Price flicks, you know. Um, but yeah, this like raised the this bar for scary uh, films here. Stanley Kubrick turned down the opportunity to direct this film. I didn't know that. And also, the teaser trailer was banned from some theaters because it was deemed too scary. I did know that, yeah. Uh, so, also, it was the first horror film to be nominated for uh, an Oscar. I think it was Best Picture. I could be wrong, but... Interesting. Um, yeah, 1973, the, the biggest movie was, um... Something I'd never heard of before. The, oh, the, the, the Sting. The Sting. And this was number two. And, and the rest of the list, really... You got American Graffiti, George Lucas? No, that was, um, Richard Gere, the guy with the gerbil. American really? Graffiti? Yeah, didn't George Lucas direct that? I don't know, I but George Lucas it, it was about a male hooker, right? Either way, let's, <laughs> let's just hop right into this. <laughs> We're going to talk... By the way, my expectations are, okay. are here for scariness. I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. Well, I've, se I've seen this before. <laughs> There's a story to go along with that, but I won't bore you with it. So oh, I, I I'm going to set my expectations <laughs> right about here for this movie. Sticks? It, it could... It could I, I could go higher. We'll Sticks see. pump. I'm ready. Let's just get this over Let's with. Let's do it. Get it over with. Until then. Montage! It's over. It's complete. We watched The Exorcist. It's a long movie. A lot of build up. Yeah, two plus hours, just over two hour movie, and probably the first hour and fifteen minutes of it is just a lot of character development. Character development. Uh, Father Karras, the mom and the daughter, Reagan. Uh, yeah, just a lot of yeah character development. For me personally, I couldn't stop thinking about the movie Scary Movie 2 by the Wayans Brothers, and you know what, I loved every second of it. Yeah, I kind of want to get your opinion on this, because this is your first time seeing this, but you've you've been subject to all of the pop culture referencing this movie over the years, so how, yeah. how did it feel to see where it came from? Well, what's really cool is, you know, like, the exorcism of Emily Rose and other movies like that, even like exorcist scenes in like The Conjuring, um kudos to the exorcist i mean so many people saw that and said you know what if i made a movie i'd do it this way maybe that's what we've seen throughout the years but um personally for me this is a one and done yeah yeah you know you got to be in the mood and i think this is one where if like like tonight where if you're with someone who hasn't seen it it's worth sitting down and saying yeah let's watch the exorcist maybe um would you what would you would you need this in your library for blu-rays no what uh, I don't think no. so. I mean, me too. If, if I found a really cool, like a really cool edition of it under like seven bucks, maybe I mean maybe I'd pick it up just okay. to say I had it, but probably not to like pull out on the reg and watch. If I saw it for four dollars, yeah, I'd do it. Why not? But, um, 
rewatchability. I guess we kind of covered yeah, that. Yeah, we kind of covered that. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about a little bit was this movie came out in 1973, and we touched on it uh, in, our, in the preview before the montage. In 1973, this movie was scary as shit. Okay? The bed's bouncing around. Uh, she's levitating off, up off the bed. People are like... Vomit coming out. Yeah, like... We take it for granted nowadays in 2016 that that stuff is just like five minutes in the back room with an iPhone. Mind blowing. But back in 1973, like that that stuff had people running out of the theater. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that that's got to be acknowledged that this, like you said, it kind of set the stage for for hundreds of movies. Mad props from 2016 on that. I mean, so uh, I mean, having said that, uh, anything else you want to talk about in this movie? You know, uh, before we get to our uh, grades here. I'm good. You're good? I, I do want to watch the, you know, Scary Movie 2. So funny. But, um, let's get in the grades. Let's do it. Uh, three, two, one. See Crucifix. And oh. I gave it, I gave it two grades. A 1973 grade of a B plus and the 2016 grade of a C. Because I think if kids are watching this nowadays for the first time, they're going to be like, man, this is boring, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I give it a straight up C plus. I mean, if it was 1973, I think I'd probably give it a <gasps> grade. So mm -hmm. there it is. I mean, I'm glad I've seen it. Yeah, and I'm glad I brushed up on it. But um, oh, glad it's over with. Are you gonna be able to sleep tonight? Absolutely. I'm gonna go home and put in Ace Ventura or something. I'll be fine. I'm gonna go eat some pea soup. There you go. Well, we did it. Until next time, uh, take care of yourselves. <laughs>